Volunteers from Chicago are preparing to head out to Texas, including one woman who helped with flooding recently in Lake County. She felt compelled to do the same, but on a much larger scale. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more on why she and others are making the trip. The flooding this summer was unforgettable for suburban neighbors and for one woman who grew up nearby. In the 40 years I lived in Lake County, I have never seen flooding that bad. Suzanne Peters helped there as a newly minted Red Cross volunteer, and the aid she provided against those currents is exactly what's driving her to help in Texas. I'm expecting to see pretty catastrophic situations. And this will be your first deployment? Yes. Nervous, excited, combination? Well, both. She knows she'll fly out for Dallas Tuesday. She also knows she'll help run a shelter. But like many volunteers, where that will happen is unclear. I don't know yet. But you're just there to help. I'm there to help. Our volunteers are going to be there for a long time. I should be there for a couple weeks. And they're willing to do whatever they need to do to, to help. Holly Baker of the American Red Cross says about a dozen local volunteers are helping or about to help. Some could see time in Houston. It'll all depend on the needs when they get there. Uh, typical day, there's no typical day. Why go there? People, right now, for people, it's their darkest hour. It really is a lot about helping other people. This is like a lighthouse in a storm. And if you would like to help, there's a way to do so by simply using your cell phone. You can text Red Cross to 90999. That'll mean a $10 donation. Live in the newsroom, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Jeremy, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the flooding from Harvey. There's a comprehensive section on our website with ways you can help beyond just the Red Cross. Just go to CBSChicago.com.